What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the WWE Elite Greatest Hits, The Rock and Rikishi. Yeah, it's The Rock, or The Rock, whatever you want to say, but it's it's Rock and Rikishi. I did it for The Rock, The Rock. Nonetheless, man, here they are. You guys do know that the WWE Elite Greatest Hits series is the uh, re-releases of some of the top best WWE Elites, or I guess best, you know, like that we didn't vote on it. They just kind of took it in their hands, or maybe they do it based on sales. I, I don't know what the deal is there but this is a re-release of the attitude era wwe elite rock figure and this is a re-release of the elite 27 slash hall of champions rikishi nonetheless man kind of excited for these because they are going to be updated with the with the stuff that the greatest hits you know features the double jointed arms the nice details all the stuff but here's the front viewing windows wwe elite figures right there you got the rock here rikishi here with the oval ic title got the rikishi and rock on the side on the back you get a great image of both talents you got their bio reads here Here's the rocks if you want to read it now. And then here is Rikishi's if you want to read that one now. Rest of the figures in the wave. We did review Rock. Rock. We reviewed Rey Mysterio and Undertaker the other day. You got the names on the side. And that wraps up our packaging for these guys. If you'd like to grab these, they are available over at Ringside Collectibles using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But we're going to crack these guys out, find out how they compare to the OGs, except for the Rikishi. I actually turned one of mine into Keith Lee's. I actually turned one of mine into Rikish Lee, or Keith Lee for that matter. And so so I do apologize for that, but I do have the OG Amazon Rock. We'll take a look at everything. We'll get into it, man. Let's shut the hell up, crack them out of the packaging, find out what we got, and see how it all plays out. So here is Rock and Rikishi out of their packaging. Really like the way both of these feel. They feel really, really closely to the original. You know, they really do. That's probably the best thing I can do. But the Rikishi feels better in the hand for whatever reason. I don't know what that is. Maybe we can get into that a little bit and talk about that in great detail as best we can. But I'm digging both figures. You know, I am excited to have a new Rikishi since I did lose mine out of the collection. So that is nice to see. I always loved Rikishi growing up. This Rock figure, I wish that they would have done some things differently. Like, while I agree with the re-release deal or, like, I'm on board with it to a certain extent. I feel like they could have really upgraded and changed these up just a little bit more. Maybe gave all these guys new heads or maybe gave these guys new accessories. Just to change them up a little bit. Maybe change the deco on the shirt or maybe do something like that to kind of create a different balance from the figure for, from the last time we saw these. Same thing with the Rikishi. Give us a different color logo. Maybe a different head skull. Maybe a pissed off head instead of the smiley one. You know, just a, a few different things that I'm thinking here. But at the end of the day, man, we're going to run through Rikishi's accessories and Rikishi. Then we're going to take a look at the rocks accessories and the rock of course look at some comparisons take a look at everything all the details man but with all that said let's get things started and get this review going all right guys so getting in the accessories with rikishi you do get the beautiful icy championship which is my favorite iteration of the uh, of the intercontinental championship i know a lot of people like the white strap they like the other versions the oval championship is my favorite the oval intercontinental title this is just this just this is just this, this is beautiful you know what i mean i think mattel does a good job with it maybe a tad big but i think overall it looks really good and we saw this with what the hall of champion rikishi so you know kind of getting a bit of a re-release there but outside of that you also get the rikishi waist wrap or the thing that kind of brings the robe together so i love i've always loved his font and i love the colors of it with the red and yellow and then you do have the long cloth trench coat which is nice I, I believe it was like leather right so to see it you know in this cloth material doesn't bother me it looks really good on the figure it fits the figure really nicely you know you put this on and then you wrap it up with the rikishi and it's got the velcro on there and this fits the figure well it's a great accessory it looks great really wish they would have changed it up just a little bit just to differentiate the two but at the end of the day it's great and i'll never complain about cloth accessories unless it stains i will mention it but this is good stuff man love it then outside of that you get your choke slamming hands and you get your mic holding hands not anything you know over the top or terrific but you know uh you know you get two different shots there i would have liked to seen different hands but yeah i mean it, it gets the job done i guess i don't really know why we would need these two but uh, i don't know it's not the biggest deal maybe some you know some cheek slapping hands you get what i'm saying now getting into rikishi we have seen this head sculpt before nothing over the top or crazy pretty good head sculpt though it does look like they've added true effects to it you know i don't have my other rikishi anymore i might actually i'll have to try and find it but i know i turned the elite i may have the head sculpt but i turned the elite into a keith lee custom and i honestly kind of regret that but at the time being you know it made sense and we didn't have the elite 82 yet but the necklace is on there which i really like i love the sculpt i like the likeness would have liked to seen a new head sculpt but again we're just 
going straight re-release here. Always like the torso they use for Rikishi. The arms feel buttery smooth, man. I gotta be honest with you. Feel, it feels really good in the hand. It's not like super duper loose. The hand is a bit loose though. Jesus Christ. I don't know what's going on with that. But double jointed arms are nice. I like the elbow pads in here. It, it feels really good. The red and white on the wrap looks nice. You know, they kind of, they, they don't expose his butt as much, but it'd be cool to see somebody come in here with a, you know, if you want to ex expose some extra cheekage, just come in here with a Dremel, wipe some of that off, and then put some skin tone in there, I guess, if you want, but he's got the big beefy thigh, big knee pads, and he's got the black kick pads down here. Figure feels really phenomenal. It really, really does. Like, it really does. It moves around great. I think if you wanted to pose this guy around, you could. I don't know what the double jointed arms are gonna make you be able to do that you couldn't before, but I like the figure, and it feels really good in hand. As a Rikishi, if, you, if you're a Rikishi fan, I think this is going to get the job done for you. You know what I mean? I don't know if he's gonna be able to dance around in the ring. I mean, I feel like he feels like he could, you know, uh, if you want to add to your Attitude Era displays and, you know, your early 2000s displays. Probably do that, but Rikishi feels good, looks good, and I'm gonna I'm grab that Keith Lee Custom just to kind of compare them, so we'll have at least a decent little look at what it was supposed to look like. So for your Rikishi figure comparisons, guys, here is the Custom Keith Lee, and all I did was remove the waist wrap, put a Keith Lee basic head sculpt on there, and then painted the upper thighs and the butt cheeks, and that's what you got right there. You got black trunks. You know, you can kind of see where it was, and then I think I just, I don't remember if I switched out the legs or if I just added tall boots to it and that was the result right there so you guys can see what I was trying to go for I don't think it looks bad at all and if you look at it they actually changed the shoulders he had the beefier sculpted shoulders before and now he doesn't have that so they did change a little bit and I don't know it kind of does look different that's a different torso dude am I am I tripping dude those are definitely different they're definitely different like most definitely just a tad different right there in the titty area like the upper torso like where it meets the ab crunch it's a tad had different so they definitely changed it interesting i'm glad we had this figure to take a look at because i all i did was paint the legs and add boots i did not do anything to the shoulders or anything like that so that's a pretty interesting take right there now getting into the rocks accessories what's also good about him is he also comes with cloth goods but this is the same shirt that we saw with his attitude era figure you know kind of that just crazy pattern you know uh kind of high-end lion shirt here it looks really good i think it looks great and terrific i don't know if it's accurate or not you know i don't know the whole deal behind all of that but i do know that it looks good it looks really good on the figure as you guys saw and it's cloth it's not going to stain it's very nice i just think it would have been cool if we got like a different pattern you know just to change it up a little bit give him a different jacket give him a different shirt there that really would have put it over the top you know to to give somebody an incentive to buy both you know what i mean and kind of change it up but at the end of the day i like the jacket and the shirt a lot and i liked it the first go around outside of that you do get a mic and it is the scratch logo which i guess is better than giving us i think you could have done the raw as war one but you know the scratch logo is not bad even though it's not accurate to the time you know you got to do what you got to do you also get the gold sunglasses which don't fit the figure that great they don't hook the ears as much as i would like but they look good and i'm glad that we get the sunglasses and then outside of that for interchangeable hands you get a fisted hand or you get interchangeable fists and you get mic holding hands so i didn't include both because we've seen them so many times before i mean it's just a fisted hand and a mic holding hand it's not you know earth shattering so that's it all right guys so getting into the rock starting off a head sculpt same head sculpt that we've seen we've seen this quite a bit not my favorite head sculpt but not like just straight atrocious i think it would have been cool to see one of the ultimate edition head sculpts included here but again they're just going for the straight re-release so you know you gotta just tip the old cap there it does look like they added some paint detail to the necklace i think it was just flat last time so you do get some metallic gold paint coming on right here the waist is pretty loose to be honest with you but i think it was like that on the last one as well i like the old school rock torso i think it works well love that they added the new double jointed arms that are more beefy and the sculpted shoulders right there it really adds to it really adds like a i don't know a more just added realistic dimension to it plastic doesn't look as flat or matte as it did on the older one as well but you do have the black slacks right here with the added articulation i love how much articulation is with these pants but they are they're pretty hideous like looking in here it looks like those old dc animated batman figures and it just looks awful but you do have the slacks and you got your black boots right here not a lot going on with it as we've seen but you know it is cool to look at here and uh i mean without the shirt and glasses figure's pretty plain but you could have a old rock and slacks just come out and beat the hell out of somebody if you want to but for your rock comparisons here is the old attitude era elite and i did put an old like look how much better this looks to me look, look look at this right here look at this head sculpt this is an ultimate edition head sculpt with black sunglasses compared to this this just looks iconic as hell to me i just think it looks so much better uh compared to this one over here so i and, and you got the people's eyebrow on on there it really adds to it man it really really does but just removing the shirt for you know just to get that straight up comparison without the shirt on there this is what they look like so you guys can see the formula is a bit different but this head sculpt's 
way better in my opinion. But I do like the ad. Like, you see how, like, shiny this one is compared to this? The matteness over here. And I think, like, the tattoo placement's better over here. Just the double joint arms really add to it. It really does. But I'd say if you missed out on the ad suit era, Elite Man, this is a must cop for you as far as Rock is concerned because I think it really adds to it. And then if you take this shirt and you add it to this figure right here, and I'm about to show you how it goes over the top, I got a custom Brahma Bull championship made. And I, I have it on display with this rock right here in the shirt. And so I think I may take that Ultimate Edition head off and put it on the double jointed arms just to add to it. Because I think it's, you know, it's a newer looking shirt. It's got the new necklace on there. But if you take this look right here for Rock and then you put that Brahma Bull strap on there. Oh man, look at that right there. Now you're really, now you got some stuff going. Then you add the black glasses instead of the gold ones. Because these probably fit the head sculpt better, I'm sure. There you go. Now you're cooking with stuff. Look at that right there, dude. That is insanity. That's beautiful right there. I like this figure a lot, man. I, I I don't know. Should we rank this set? I don't know. Should we do a My Damn Thoughts series? I don't know. We'll see, but uh, glasses fell off. Hate to see it, but yeah. This head sculpt's much better. However, uh, this did come on this. I just switched it for to make the figure look better. It looks a whole lot better. You can't argue it. It's not even arguable, but you know what? You can try it down in the comments if you would like. But anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite Greatest Hits Rockin' Rikishi. Honestly, sounds like a tag team name. Probably could have gotten away with it, too, honestly, if it wasn't for those meddling kids and that stupid dog. But overall thoughts, I'm glad to have these. You know, I, I, I love the Top Talents rock with the double jointed arms. I know it was in wrestling gear, but I think they really could have taken this set over the top all across the board. Like, you know how the Elite 8 Undertaker was a new head sculpt or like a transition of a head sculpt? I liked how that was a bit different for me. For these figures, not a lot going on as far as the re-release. I do like the double jointed arms. I do like the new updates to them, but I think a new head or a new pattern on the shirt for the rock or just a different change of color with the Rikishi Elite would have gone a long, long way, but that's not what we got. But if you guys are interested in the set, I, I'm still like on the fence about the re-release thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not too like uh, bummed out about it, I guess, because I'm not really looking at this as like, oh, it devalues the original or whatever. Like, so I, I don't really look at it that way, at least not in this set. You know what I mean? It's not like it's the Harley race or the Defining Moments Triple H or something like that. And I don't have those figures meant on card or, or anything like that anyway, so I'd be down for it, I guess, you know, and I, I don't know, people, are, new people are getting in the line every single day, and so I'm kind of on board with it. It's only one per year, so I, I you know, I can kind of feel that. If they were going to re-release a whole ton of them every single year, then I think that would be a different story as well, but I don't know, man. You guys can leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below, but before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out, shall we? I think we missed yesterday's random shout-out, so I do apologize for that, but this shout-out's going to go to Filthy Peasant, who says, I still feel like Elite Ilya Dragunov's coat looks like Squilliam from Spongebob, and that is absolutely accurate. I think he is on to something right there because it definitely does so i thought that was a pretty funny comment i'm i'm a massive spongebob fan and i you know i'm all for the spongebob references and the spongebob memes and anything you guys can come up with so i'm all down for that you know need to have like a comment hall of fame section and us run through it every single year but anyways man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy i'm getting out of here man shout out to filthy peasant for the comment leave me your thoughts on these figures down below i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one you crossed the line.